Girl, relax, you don't have to think twice. Believe it when I say this, my loving go last. It. Look into my eyes, you go see I'm so nice. I know the kind of person they go take you for a ride. Mm -hmm. Come, let me take you down to my cabba. Girl, I go treat you like a mother, treat her daughter. Anything you want, girl, I swear I would give ya. My loving is sweeter than sugar. time of the week yes it is change to five o'clock the show where we get you acquainted with some of nigeria's best musical talents and of course i have with me in the studio emex balo he is a singer a songwriter and a performer and of course he looks good too <laughs> Yes, I'm going to be your host as usual, your host with the most. My name is Mide and welcome once again. How are you doing? I'm good. You look good. You look good yourself. You look cool, calm, collected. Thank you. You look like a Yoruba demon. <laughs> I'm not. You're not. Oh, praise I'm God. Angel. You're about angel. Yeah. Uh, when they say that. Mm. You have to take it with one with one part of your brain. I use the other part to think very well. Oh. <laughs> so tell me about your musical journey so far. Where how did you start? Well, um, I started by freestyling. I actually started from school, from you know, back in secondary school with my friends, you know. So now nah, I actually started by miming, miming people's songs. Then you know, there's this club we always do then all, um, on Thursdays, we call it Interact Clubs, where, you know, we, people, you know, students showcase their talents, um, dancers, comedians, and all that. So then I used to mind, you know, I just come out, mind people's songs. And so there was this day, because I've, I was doing it constantly, like every Thursday, so it now became like a norm that I have to. So this very day, I, I just felt, no, I'm not coming out today. All of a sudden, the MC now called on me that, like, hey. so now we're going to call on Emex. Then I, I was just behind Emex then, not Balo. The Balo was later. You, you will still tell me the story of that Emex okay. Balo name. So he was like, so now we're going to call on Emex to come out to sing for us. I was like, at the back, I was like, <laughs> people went out, shout, like, hey. So I came out because I, I didn't plan to sing. I, didn't, I, I haven't practiced any songs that I've ever seen. So... I just, before I knew it, they started hitting this. So I said, I don't have any song I want to sing right now. So they started hitting the decks and all of that. And then I started freestyling. And that was how it started. And everybody was, wow. Hi, you can sing, you can. And from there, from, you know, afterwards, I started freestyling for people. My seniors would call me, hey, come sing for us. And, and then gradually, Amazing stuff. So let's talk about Imex Baldo. Where did that name come from? I I have a, you know I have two friends that we do sick together in class. So one of them was already bearing um, in um, Chimex. They weren't singing. They they just the ones hitting yeah. hitting the decks for me while yeah. I sing. So but then they just decided to okay let's just form a group. Let's just be group. So like you Imex, Imano because that's yeah. my name. I'm Imano Balogun. Okay. Like, so you will be oh, Emex. Emex so Balu. there's one. The other one is Dio. So like you will be Emex. <laughs> <laughs> so like you guys are sharing Emex, Max, Max, Max. Exactly. Max. <laughs> they said the three of us will be three Max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so that was how it started. Then along the line, you know, because they don't sing, mm. they're just hitting decks. I did so. They will now be calling me. People will be calling me to sing. Why they call us? I'll, I'll be the only one singing. We will just be there standing. Looking dumb, you know now. And suddenly people were like, "This your they know they sing now. Why did they carry them along? Why did?" They? Oh, we shall broke up. Shall oh. one or the other we broke up? And I, you know, I stood. You know, I just I was alone and I started pursuing my career on my own. And that's it. So, how would you describe your sound? Well, um, I do all kind of songs. Like, I am a versatile artist. I do R and B. I full pop majorly and rap songs sometimes and um you know I rap sing as well. Is there like any Nigerian artist or foreign artist that has influenced your sound? Yeah, um well I would say Two Face. 
two phase one the coal those are the artists and then well lately i started you know boner boys i you know facing one or, one or two mm. I want to talk about your creative process. What's your music creative process like? Because well, you said you're, you're also a songwriter. Yeah, like I told you, the genesis of my music started from freestyling. Mm -hmm. So I, I freestyle a lot. So sometimes I just go to the studio, you know, without um, um, planning Being to record uh, yeah. anything. And then I just tell them, hey, what beat do you have? Just play some beats for me. Let me work on anyone. And then they play and whichever one I feel like sounds nice for me, I jump on it, you know. But sometimes too, I, I write, you know, mostly maybe when I want to be more serious about the topic I want to sing about, not just vibe, 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 I want to sing about something. So I take my time sometimes mm. to write and I do write for people too. Let me take you at your word to, you know, do a freestyle for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Well. <laughs> Freestyle. I like to. I like to hear a sound. I like to hear a beat. Okay. Girl, relax. You don't have to think twice. Believe it when I say this. My loving go last. Look into my eyes. You go see I'm so nice. I know the kind of person they go take you for a ride. Mm -hmm. Come, let me take you down to my cabal. Girl, I go treat you like a mother treat her daughter. Anything you want, girl, I swear I would give ya. My loving is sweeter than sugar. Hey! Ah, you almost made me fall. Ah, but I, I, I did can't play. You see how far I mentioned for more? Mm. I had gone. That's so. I had gone. <laughs> can imagine. All yeah. right, nice one, nice Thank one. Well much. done, well done. Now let's talk about you know streaming farms, um, record labels. We're going to be talking about a whole lot of things: record labels, um, streaming farms, the okay. Nigerian music industry, and um, you know how they treat up and coming artists generally. Let's start with that. How do you perceive that the Nigerian music industry treats up and coming artists? Is it a welcoming treatment, or it's something that is really like a put off, where they like leave people to just you know make it on your own when you you sort of have a name that we can yeah. work together? Well, the way it is now, you know, I feel like. It's more like you know who you know and basically that's how nigeria is mm. so it's who you know if you know one or two or you come from a wealthy home and you have money to throw around so it tends to be easier for you but when you don't have anyone and um you're pushing yourself so it tends to be harder you know but you just have to persist keep pushing it's just you know it's not encouraging because <clears throat> the way it is now even promoting your song it's very, very expensive. Mm. But, you know, most of these platforms, they don't care if your song is nice or not. They just want that money. You know, just give us money. So it's just not easy, but... Have you been... Nothing good company. <laughs> <laughs> have you previously been in a record label? Oh, man. Yeah, I have. What's the story there? Why did you leave? It was crazy, crazy experience. What's crazy. the story there? It wasn't just one. It was... I've been, I've been through about two record labels mm. yeah the last one i had was you know was the craziest mm. yeah it was you know it was more like a verbal um contract yeah, agreement yeah, yeah verbal contract because i didn't have a proper team i don't have a management mm. so i was just letting my passion push me you know it was just my passion i wasn't putting the business you know the business idea into it, like the business mindset, mm. those, you know, into it, I was just following my passion. So I met this record label from UK, you know, and he just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, this talk messed now. you up. Ah. So he started with talks, this, I'll do this, I'll do that, you know, and I believed him and boom, I went to the house we were in and one year late, two years gone, there was nothing. So it was just flexing. Mm. Vibe, chilling, clubs, and all of that. So, anytime I tell him, hey, boss, what's up now? When are we? Because my, you know, I have fans, I have people that are looking up, that are waiting, expecting to hear sound. They all know they were happy for me when they found out that I've been signed under a UK record label, mm. international record label. So, they were expecting, like, the expectation was there, and it was just procrastination every time. <laughs> so, when I couldn't take it anymore, I just up, 
I even had to lie. You know, I had to lie to leave the label. Mm. I had to tell him, oh, I want to go see, because my mom was in Abuja. So I, was like, I had to go see my parents in Abuja. They've been wondering, you know, they've been bothered, you know, wondering what's wrong with me. Have there been any um, instances where you felt bullied at any of these record labels? Um, no. Okay. Yeah. Or, or, okay, so you've never experienced... No. Okay. Okay, great. So now let's talk about streaming farms. What's your take on streaming farms? The thing is, anything you, um, you manipulate mm. to get doesn't last. Definitely, you know, a time will come when it will come to light. You're just mm. deceiving yourself. It's a self-deception. You know, there's nothing like growing organically. You know, so for me, I it's not my thing, and I would. But I I know I know people do it a lot. Yeah. You know, sometimes they feel like you know people like to see you climbing up. They like to see that people are streaming before people. You know, you know Nigerian people mentality. They like to jump on the bad wagon so when they see yeah. that there's you know so i see that this guy's song has this much streams so they tend to download that was what an artist that does that tell me when i you know ask him that why do you have to do this so like you know especially this apple music you know he says when you use a farming stream mm -hmm. to push it up people be like ah, this song is on number one I mean, this song has to be nice, so mm -hmm. by that, they, they download it, you know. So it's like clickbait. Exactly, so... But, but how do you promote your music? Well, I promote my music through online and um, through radio, through performing on you know, shows and, and even as, as we are right now. <laughs> true, <laughs> so, true, true, true. <laughs> that's it. So dealing with um, pressures, you know, pressure from being a, an upcoming artist, right? How, how do you deal with pressure, online pressure, pressure from family, friends who feel like, oh, you should have been, this music thing may not be working out for you, maybe do something else, or why are you still, uh, why are you still where you are? You should have been further up the ladder. How do you deal with such societal expectations? And you know, in the music industry, there's, there seems to be some sort of image that people expect of you. Do you yeah. conform to that image or you just do you? Well, to start with, I didn't start this music because of people, like because of what people are going to, you know, because of the expectation from people. It started from passion. So it was something I was passionate about. I enjoyed doing it. So if it's something you're doing for a reason, maybe mm. for a material reason or for money reason and all that, that's where, that's when things like that get to you. But to me, it makes me feel great, you know, when I write songs, when I listen to myself, listen to my music, mm. and I feel like, wow, so this is, this is actually me. <laughs> and that's how music works sometimes, you know, you know, especially, you know, I told you, I mostly go to the studio, you know, and just jump on any beat. Right. So even me, myself, I don't know what I'm going to produce, you know, that's why, you know, they say music is spiritual. Mm -hmm. So music, you, you really cannot predict, you cannot tell what you're going to do. It's, it's, it just comes. So sometimes when I go and I freestyle and I sing and I'm like, wow, did I just say this? Did I just? So that's why it doesn't get to me and it can't never get never to gets me. To and I feel like there's no, um, there's no age, age limit. Limit, to, to right. Music, you know? yeah. Once, you know, a song is good and it sounds nice, everybody would accept it. Do you ever like get into a state of, have you ever been in a state of depression where you feel like you, you wanted to give up on music? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I have. Especially when I left my label. When I left that label, it really got to me so much. Like I was, I had to, I had to quit music for a while, mm. you know, because one, before that, that period that I got that label, I had about three record labels that were on me. I wanted to sign me too. So, you know, it was like a momentum, you know, there was a momentum at that period, you know, but because of this, you know, labels and, and because, you know, I got to, I got to sign on that label too. I got to um, know about the label and connect about with the label through a friend. 
you know, so he was the one that persuaded me and also sold that little to me that like, this guy is so you know, time is precious. Mm -hmm. Two years is a lot. Mm -hmm. Just there. So that period when I was with the label, I went through depression. Mm. I went through a whole lot, you know, it was it was crazy. Despite the chilling, 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 I had a car that I was pushing around. I had, you know, it was all a facade, you know, it was it wasn't there was no happiness because what I was there for was not I wasn't doing what I came there to do, you know. So I wasn't fulfilling my purpose. So I had to leave. Mm. And me leaving was like, you know, starting from from the scratch. Style. So yeah. and then that level. Since then, I promised myself that I am not going to. I'm. I'm not going to look for any record, record label. label. I'm going to work. I'm going to focus on other stuff and make my own personal money enough to be able to push myself to at least some height before I let level come in. And when they come in, I'm, they're not coming in as you know. Not you don't come in like you're doing me a favor. You're coming in. Like I am doing you a favor. You want mm. to invest into what into is what, already. Yeah. So what's up? Let's talk. So that way I get to, you know, I get to make the I'd like to days. I'd like to know what would you describe or what would you say uh, has been the highlight of your career so for you your musical career and you know what are you envisioning for the future of your career? There was a time, I don't know if you remember the there was this Alu community, Alu community issue that came up where they accused some four guys, innocent guys, of um, robbery and um, they accused them wrongly and then they killed them, yeah. you know, mobbed and all of that. So, so that period, um, I jumped on the song. It was more like a cover that had whiskey chorus on it. Then whiskey too was just, you know. So I jumped on that song and I titled the song Alu Community. And I, I wrote the song, I infused that. It wasn't like I was singing about what happened, but I twisted it and I, I made it a love song. I turned it into a love song. Mm -hmm. You get so mm -hmm. And I made it look like, okay, you're in, because, I, because your girlfriend was crushing on me, because your girlfriend says she wants me, mm -hmm. so you now go about you know, trying to implicate me, mm -hmm. calling me thief, that mm -hmm. I stole your girlfriend. Mm. like alu community mm. so mm. that was what the storyline of the song was because in that song too the guy was you know they implicated the guy I don't, if you remember he he went to you know he had a friend one of them had a friend that was owing him money so he now you know he has always been asking the guy hey, when are you going to pay me my money or stop so the guy was always um you know posting him and all of that so this very early morning you know mm. arranged she called like three of his friends at more today Oh, go this guy out, go pay me my money. This uh -huh. So they went there, and um, when they got there, give me my money, give me my money, the guy refused. So I think they carried this laptop, like, you know, if you bring my money out. So the guy now started shouting, Ole, tip, 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 tip. And before you knew it, it escalated, it escalated and people yeah. were like, <laughs> So that was how it goes. So that song was crazy then because, you know, they started playing it on radio, uh -huh. it was going, it was going, but. It was faceless song because then I had no money at all to even do single to like. <laughs> but the song was just there. It was just going. All I needed was a little money to just to promote you know, it. To yeah. like sell my face out. And do you do you usually like promote your songs on radio too? Do you have to pay for that? Yeah, of course. I mean, I know people pay for it, but like there are also times where you, you hear artists say like when when they finally like make it big when they blow, yeah. you realize that they're appreciating some um, OAPs who consistently play their song uh, played their songs on air yeah. without necessarily asking or collecting any yeah. form of monetary stuff from them. So is that your case or do you have to consistently pay, pay for that? Well, like I said, this song that I told you about was being played on radio. So sometimes they don't have to pay. Sometimes there are some OEPs that when they come across a good song, they just play it for the love of it. Mm. So even now, um, I have a song that I haven't released yet, but someone that works in a radio station had it, and it was like, I beg, I beg, and they started playing it. Playing it, right. Like, bro, I don't know. They were like, Balo, look, I, you, you don't go promote this song. They started playing it. So I do get some OAPs, some yeah. radio people that plays it for free. 
But uh, most people, especially in this night, you have to pay, Nigeria, you have to drop money. <laughs> everything is they will monetize everything. True. You have to pay, you know? True. All right, before I let you go, two things. Um, you know, words of encouragement to other um, young artists out there who are also just striving to make a name for themselves, you know. Um, you would also do a live performance for us. Okay, yes. no problem. So, <laughs> any words of encouragement? Well, like I said, it has to start with passion. Mm. So you have to ask yourself first, before you go into it, why do I want to do this? Mm. Is it because Whiskey is up there, Bonner Boy, Drama is blowing, he has girls crushing on him, his <laughs> life, now what do you see, we enter your eye, mm. you say, won't do. If that's what you, know, you saw that made you go into it, then mm. you, won't, you won't last, because then it will just be like a tree that has no root. Mm. You know, any small, if you know, if what you expect, if you didn't get what you expect, you know, any small challenge, you just fall off. But if you're passionate about it, if that's the basic on which your desire to do it was built on, mm -hmm. then you would, the sky is not just going to be, even if it takes long, you would get there. So you just have to persist you just have to nothing good comes easy there will always be challenges you know but then if you are passionate and you're determined <laughs> to never give up you understand you will get there you definitely get there wow thank you so much mm -hmm. do not give up the sky is your starting point not your limit exactly right and if you're determined everything will fall in place definitely right so now last thing before i let you go a live performance yeah. Yay. So I'll be I'm here. I'll be here and carry you on. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Let's go. Let's go do it. <laughs> See everybody wanna know the coco How I'm getting money and I no pro Everywhere I go they call me Pablo Now God they bless me ya fool ya fool And the ladies want they follow So they pepper them like a roto Paparazzi don't in your photo Mala don't turn me raku raku So I say Ale I went to different shows When my shoe no shine and my face in no show But right now the story don't change It got down on my stone to go Now the boy is so dope like a Ginomoto Now everybody get back to my flow now I did then get posy, then get, then get posy Oh, le 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 wopa Wa 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 wi Wa fe mo yi ti ya ba jowa Na god he de do wanda Si, wa le 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 wopa So I say Ale, Halelu, Majaye, Majaye ku The young boys cafe bu, now the young boys do re bu Say Ale, Halelu, Majaye, Mameza bu The young boys cafe bu, see now the young boys do re bu So I say, what is it you going through brother? No worry, I say make you no brother, yeah it is day you give my brother But you know kill you, you gon' make you stronger I say, after the rain there'll be sunshine And everything will be alright It's just a season and it will surely pass up Oh le 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 won't ba Wa 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 mi Wa fe mo yi ti ya ba joa Na god he de do wonder Si Wa le 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 won't ba Wa 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 mi Wa fe mo yi ti ya ba joa Everybody say Ale, Halelu, Majaye, Majaye ku The young boys cafe, now the young boys do me Say Ale, Halelu, Majaye, Mameze bu The young boys cafe, see now the young boys do me
Zosu. Wow, 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 wow. I've had such an amazing time here. And I'm sure you guys have had one too. I mean, I told you this is your favorite time of the week. Change to fave o'clock. And yeah, we delivered. In it. <laughs> I shall see you again next time. I remain your favorite screen diva, Mide, and it's bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>